Thank you. <clears throat> and thank you so much for squeezing me in. Resource extraction is the business of exploitation of the earth. Prostitution is the business of sexual exploitation. Both must be eliminated in order to sustain the existence of women and children. There's a relationship between how the land is treated and how women are treated. In, 156 stu uh, in a study of 156 cultures where sexual violence was minimal, the earth was relatively free of exploitation and destruction. And when there were high levels of sexual violence, there was significant environmental degradation. When there's a boom market in fossil fuel extraction, prostitution increases. Pimps traffic women and girls to boom sacrifice zones like the Bakken oil fields in North Dakota and Montana in order to pacify men who are themselves poor and exploited. And when the extraction ends, the prostitution remains. Prostitution is also linked to the longer term destructive consequences of climate dis disruption. The most severely impacted are those already vulnerable because of their poverty, their sex, and their ethnicity. Regions severely impacted by climate disruption are especially vulnerable to exploitation by sex trade pimps. Prostitution is a form of violence that generates financial gain. 90% of those in prostitution want to escape it, but 84% are controlled by pimps and traffickers. They're coerced into prostitution by sex inequality, race inequality, economic inequality, and increasingly geographic inequality. The emotional consequences of prostitution are the same in widely varying cultures, whether it's high class or low class, legal or illegal, a brothel, strip club, massage parlor, or the street. Symptoms of emotional distress in all prostitution are off the charts. Two thirds of women, men, and the transgendered in prostitution in nine countries met diagnostic criteria for PTSD. This level of extreme emotional distress is the same as the, emo as the most psych emotionally traumatized people ever studied by psychologists, battered women, raped women, combat veterans, and state-sponsored torture survivors. Please don't be fooled by those who tell you selling sex is like any other job. Some words hide the truth. Just as torture is named enhanced interrogation and logging of old for growth forests is named the Healthy Forest Initiative and climate disruption is named extreme weather events. So also prostitution is named a, job, a, a choice, work like any other job, a victimless crime, or from Backpage.com, we offer a wide range of personal meeting and relationship opportunities. These pimp messaged slogans are good for business, but there's no evidence supporting them. Paid for AstroTurf campaigns controversialize the facts and generate fake criticism of peer-reviewed articles on prostitution. A doubt-inducing playbook is used by denialists of both climate disruption and prostitution harms, and I've included a handout from an article that's forthcoming. There's an ideological synchrony in the business of exploitation by sex and the business of resource extraction. The supremacist attitude of the old growth clear cutter is kissing cousin to the sex buyer's entitlement to sexual access. In prostitution policy, the free market fundamentalist, George Soros, is what the Mercers and Koch brothers are to climate policy. 
They promote decriminalized pimping, renaming pimps business managers. The same rationalization that's used to exploit the land is also used to exploit women in prostitution. But we're creating jobs and they're making good money. This argument suggests that the money disappears the harms. Another perspective is that the money coerces the harms when people are struggling to survive. A forced choice between poverty and pollution should not be government's only options, and a forced choice between poverty and prostitution should not be women's only options. Thank you.